Hey guys, it's Shannon the Garden Girl from Georgina Garden Center. I just wanted to show you one issue we're seeing now with boxwoods in the area. Um, it's called box tree moth and that will be it. It's a moth that lays its eggs on boxwood leaves on the undersides and then they hatch into caterpillars and feed on the foliage. So I'm just going to flip the camera around so I can show you what it looks like. So this is a boxwood hedge here and you can see it doesn't look the hottest. There's a lot of some brown in it, some dying off. Um, if you get in close you can see it's there's some branches here that don't even have leaves on them, brown leaves. And if you look closely, there's some webbing in there. So what this is, this is signs of the caterpillar and it's feeding on the leaves. So I'm gonna show you here. See right there, there's a caterpillar there. And again, this is called box tree moth. And these are the caterpillar, the larva, sta larva stage of them. And there are more in here that one I could find quickly. But um, what it does, like I said, it feeds on the boxwood and it is savable if you can catch it soon enough you can spray BTK on it which is a natural uh, it is a natural thing found in soil I don't want to say a bacteria there's my word a natural bacteria found in soil and it only affects caterpillars only caterpillars even if a bird eats the caterpillar it's still only the caterpillar it affects so it's very um, good thing to use like I said natural and you just spray your boxwoods with it at least once a week for the season and then the other option i'm going to show you one more option you can use or use them together is this is a moth trap and it's again natural so inside right up there there is a pheromone and it's a female pheromone so the male moths are attracted to it and all in here is all sticky so the moths when they fly in get stuck to it and it just helps to break the cycle of the moths so using both together and the moths haven't quite come out quite yet so we've just put them up so they were ready to go but um, that's box tree moth they're eating the boxwoods I'll show you another one here and Again, if you can get spraying soon, sooner than later, there's a fighting chance. You can also fertilize your hedges. You can fertilize them about every three weeks with a granular fertilizer. This is a taller boxwood here, like a paramental boxwood. This one is really showing signs. You can see here, um, I'm trying to find the caterpillar, I can see. There's a caterpillar right there. There's one there. But this one's just, it, this one has a lot in there. There's one there. So you can see all the webbing. It's really done a number on this. We're still fertilizing, hoping to bring it back, but um, we'll see what happens. But I just wanted, just wanted to let you guys know that to keep an eye on your boxwoods, even if you don't see any sign of it yet, spray your boxwoods, at least start spraying with the BTK just to get ahead of it because you don't want to start seeing signs because sometimes it can be too late by the time you notice it. If you have any questions, let me know. Have a great day, guys.